hello so i'm just want to share with you on how to set up the optia machine which we use for our patient in cc bed 2 on plasma exchange or what we call plasma paresis so first and foremost do not forget to turn on your machine which is located on this right side bottom part of the machine so it is located from there turn it on once you turn it on then you are going to select procedure selecting procedure will be based on your doctor's order for this time we are using therapeutic plasma exchange then afterwards select confirm then wait for the process as it is showing loading procedures software once it's uh, loaded or the settings is completed you're going to take the kit which is used for plasma exchange which is colored orange then you are going to uh, confirm once you have set or chosen the set then afterwards we are going to set up the machine so in this procedure we try to set up from bottom to top okay although most of the demo are showing you can set up from the anterior and upper part of the machine lastly will be the bottom part so this time we tried from the bottom okay so this uh, set will be inserted from the bottom of the centrifuge then up to the top okay this one is divided into two colors we have the yellow and the red remember our red is for your right hand so do not confuse yourself our right hand okay so this one you put the red on the right side then this is the zero point wherein you are going to initially insert it from the side make sure your your tubings are not kink and tangled with each other as this one will be the reason why there will be pressure high pressure alarm during the process or the uh, treatment or the plasma exchange then once it is fully inserted make sure all the uh, lines are inserted on the side this looks like a plate then you pull down from the bottom and make sure you will hear a click sound and it is fully locked okay then you will see a gray screw and it's pulled out so meaning we are clear and this this area is already locked try to pull it it should not be moving okay to ensure that it is well sealed and well locked once done you anchor the tubings from the bottom part in this side and make sure it is really anchored properly then from the bottom like uh, the last part to anchor is this one you anchor it from the bottom to top so it's easier you cannot just push it then try to rotate the plate or the centrifuge and there will be light okay so there is light as you notice uh, this is one way to ensure that your settings on the tubings are well done okay then after securement of this catheter is here then we go on the upper part of the machine uh, upper anterior part okay make sure you subdivide your tubings it should not be tangled with each other and it should not be um the right areas will be in the right side and of course the left tubings will also be in the left tubings this bag here is uh same with like filtrate bag um this one first okay so we are dividing the tubings according to its position so it won't give us hard time in putting your cassette okay just slowly slide this down and just push it and you will hear a click sound as well okay and um, wait it will be primed or put inside this uh, circle block circle this one here this one this one so no need to do anything you will just simply lock this cassette using this pat pattern then this filtrate will be hung on the upper uh, steel 
this will be the one uh, all the waste from the patient the plasma waste will be uh, there it will be flush on that area so it is uh, it can accommodate six liters or six thousand ml of plasma waste mm -hmm. so with this order for our patient is only four liters so this waste or filtrate uh, bag can accommodate all the waste of our patient so once all the setup are done, so you are going to close the lower part of the machine, then we are already lowering cassette and this one is continued. So it's just turning by itself and connected to the patient. The best thing about this machine is that it is giving really a clear instruction plus color coding. The same thing with our CRRT machine. It is actually easier than CRRT machine, but slightly complicated so here it gives us an instruction to close both chambers okay close it tightly the red uh, the red and the blue chambers then keep your clamp open then once you have done that one you have to press continue okay chambers lock catheter open but this filtrate uh, cover the yellow one also need to be closed as it is not connected to anything then press continue now it is testing the tubing set now it's instructing to clamp the inlet line so clamp both red and yellow then a uh, yellow blue and red then press continue okay so it is really testing the tubings to ensure that all our tubings are set up correctly after the setup of the tubings it is showing that this is you have to connect the orange tubings to the ac ac meaning the anticoagulant that is uh, included already on the set of the optia okay it is requested separately but once you are going to uh, start the procedure you need to have your anticoagulant so spike the ac gently that you are not going to spike including the plastic bag so it will not leak this machine is very sensitive and there should be no um, dripping on the machine as it will cause alarm then fill the chamber with the, your anticoagulant okay just half filled then afterwards this filter here the yellow the orange tubing should be here in your sensor okay it will filter the air bubbles and it will also sense how many ml of anticoagulant are already um, transfused to the patient secondly is your green uh, tubings which is connected to your normal saline same thing you have to fill the chamber half full only do not fill it uh, totally once you did both start priming so now the machine is starting to prime the tubings okay so wait until the priming has been done so anticoagulant will be primed first priming of the anticoagulant lines so now it is showing open both roller chambers the green, blue and the red should be open once it's done press continue then it will prime now the return line same with hd catheter or our crrt we have the blue port and the red port red port will be the taking of the blood from the patient and the blue one will be the return okay so it will be showing uh, the priming will be completed and it will just wait for the um, settings once priming is completed now you're going to configure the details this is for male patient you have to put the patient's accurate height please measure your patient's height properly so you are going to put patient's height is 168 centimeter with 96 kilograms then the latest hematocrit level okay so there is, this is full okay if it is 43.7 round off to the whole number 
okay once all the settings is done you press confirm then fluid type place the patients or choose fluid type as so in here press the fluid type as plasma okay afterwards the volume here um keep the volume actually do not put anything in the volume just make sure that the percentage is 100 percent okay then the volume here nothing to do just keep your percent as 100 percent then afterwards you're going to press plasma okay okay so plasma for the fluid replacement or fluid type but percentage will be 100 percent then continue now in here there will be some uh, details of information wherein uh we will read about it and we will learn about it because i still don't know all these details okay so once all these things are so this plasma volume exchange here you're going to put what is the doctor's order now the doctor's order is actually 4000 ml so with these settings once you will put your here your plasma volume exchange so in this area what we will do only is to type this one here on this part so you are going to enter the volume that is being ordered by the doctor then once it's done it will just automatically set up all the details then press the confirm okay then clears a line from drip chamber and rehang the container so initially we filled your green lines with your normal lines you're just going to rehang it after um, clearing your drip chamber okay then once you've done that you are going to press confirm then now we are going to uh prime inlet return line so in here you can see keep this one first open then let your drip comes okay open your uh chamber open this one the clump okay then let it let the fluid drip okay wait for it okay so you will keep it open then some saline or fluids are going to drip there both okay the blue and the red then second step is that you are going to close the red and the blue roller chamber make sure it is tightly tightly closed okay then afterwards you are going to press confirm once you did both then afterwards you're going to connect the two IV tubings on the left side to your plasma so we are using five percent human albumin at this time so both here wait here here okay so this clump here should be kept close and the other one should be kept close once we are starting already our treatment we are going to open one at a time so once this chamber we are going to start this one so we are going to unclump this one the other one is kept close okay before this um plasma will be completed after the plasma is completed already that's the time you are going to open again the other part okay it should not be remember remember okay make sure your uh, plasma bottles is not totally emptied otherwise it will cause an alarm that it like the same there will be an like the air is being detected so it will cause an alarm so just press continue but make sure watch out 
that your bottles are not fully empty and that the air is not going inside the machine okay because machine i mean blood and air chances really are clots okay it will cause uh, blood clots okay once everything is set up already make sure that you're going to prepare your uh, iv access your iv access should be large bore iv access so it is advisable always to use hd catheter okay dialysis catheter that's why we inserted dialysis catheter of this patient same thing uh, make sure this is always also heparin lock so before you connect it to the patient you have to ensure the patency of the line remove the heparin that is being placed on the hd catheter once your catheter is already checked and both are patent connect red to red blue to blue so you have to connect both already but keep the chamber closed but this clump these chambers are so these chambers are kept closed while your clumps are open because we are already going to start the treatment okay blue to blue red to red okay if there is no good backflow you have to interchange the red catheter or the red tubing should be connected to the hd catheter port that has a good backflow now everything is set up okay then you are going to start the treatment press continue okay then okay so this one connected to the patient open once the catheters are connected to the patient keep your chambers closed then start running now we are priming replacement fluid line so we are already priming your line so in this time onwards as you can see here also the total treatment time will be 178 minutes okay so it's more than two hours 60 plus 60 so it's more than two hours okay so now the treatments are already ongoing for our patient so in so in here there is is the plasma volumes the target plasma volume to be exchanged so this is the current so presently now this is now the exchange ongoing and this is the run time we already completed our 122 minutes and the plasma remove is 4277 this is the pressure the volume that is being set up for the blood flow okay So these are your human albumins. These are the drip, drip, drip. Okay. So this is your filtrate bag from top. So here is your flow rate. This is 87.4. Current volume of your anticoagulant is 1,003. Target is only 1,034. And then your current volume is this one, 3,800, and this is your target. 